For transferring your files to GitHub, the easiest thing to do is to use the web interface. For each project that you complete for class, you will create a new repository. So I have a bunch of repositories up here. You can see that all of my repositories start with the class number and the name of the project. I'm going to create a new repository, and I'm going to create this one for PRG 105. I'm just going to call this practice because I already have all of my files on GitHub, but I want to show you what you need to do. So I'm going to describe it. This is a practice. You can choose public or private. If you choose private, you will need to add your instructor. Um, I'm good with you using either public. Anybody can see it, but they'd need to know who can, where to find it. That doesn't mean they can contribute, but they can see it. Private means only you can see it, plus anybody who you choose to. What's absolutely essential is that you click the Initialize This Repository. If you don't do this, the upload will not work. So make sure that's checked. Make sure your name is with your course name, hyphen, and then the name of your project, and hit Create Repository. Now I can just upload the files I need. For Python, it's very simple. If you're doing the JavaScript class, you'll need more than one file. But we're just going to pull up, um, I was working on the polygons. So I'm going to just drag polygon.py here. And then at that point, I have that in my repository, and I can commit the changes to make sure that it's saved. So now I have the polygon.py file here, and I can open it. As an instructor, I will go and I will download this, or more likely I'll just copy and paste your code into my um, development environment to test it. So if you can see your code, so can I. And then you'll just copy the link here to hand it in. So that's all you need to do for handing in your programs for PRG 105. Now if you were to make it private, then you would need to add me as an instructor or Cindy or whoever your instructor is. So if I were to change that, by making it private, or to make it, if you made it private from the beginning, then you would need to add a collaborator. So now it's private. And I can go into collaborators. And for me, it would be M. Winchester. And you'll see my picture, Mary Winchester. I think I'm the only one out there, but it does have my photo. And then you can select that and add collaborator, which I can't because I'm the repository owner, but you guys will need to do that if you choose to make it private. I'm not concerned about you making it private because it's unlikely that any of the other students in class know what your login is, but you can if you'd like to. So. Either way, whether you have it private or public, the last step will be to take this link and hand it in. You won't need to hand in a separate .py file, because when you're handing it in on GitHub, I can see all of your code, I can copy it, and I can work with it.